wouldn't say they are as widespread as roach, but they're certainly not a, a rare fish at all. When they're very small, they get called skimmers and they are silver in color. But then as they grow, they take on the lovely shape, the lovely humpback and they go bronze. And that was the type of fish that I caught from that particular venue. So nothing against those smaller skimmers, but I think most of us as anglers would prefer to catch the big hump backed bream. Beautiful fish. What I do, Jeff, is I have a little walk around. I come across little pools and ponds. And as I said before, as long as you're not trespassing on someone's land, you do get lots of wasteland and areas that you can fish. Access is not a problem. Of course, you still need a rod license, even if a club hasn't got control of that particular water. But a lot of the brooks that I fish are on land that's wasteland and no one particularly, well, everyone owns land, of course, but a lot of it isn't particularly uh, looked after in that sense. It might be owned by the council or it's alongside a canal or the back of an old factory unit, something like that. So that's how you come across these waters. We all live in a particular area and we all know pretty much what's going on in that area. As I said earlier, Jeff, with, with life, you have to put commitment in, dedication, perseverance. Very rarely do you just turn up and all the boxes are ticked. Everything's great. We are in the great outdoors. We do have to battle the elements sometimes. And we're going through a particularly wet spell at the moment. And this pool that I'm fishing, I would say, if I could describe my experience in one word, muddy <laughs> would be the word, very muddy, in fact. And it's very difficult to get to. I'm sitting in the mud while I'm fishing. It's not comfortable at all. But whether it's travel to get to the place or whether it's maybe being uncomfortable when you're there, as an angler, you have to put those things behind you. Those things don't matter. I've been fishing in some very heavy rain and I've been able to get an umbrella up just about with the undergrowth. But this is what you have to do if you want to achieve in life, isn't it? And again, not just for fishing, but life in general. You have to have that dedication and the commitment and the perseverance to see things through. I started the day by talking about it. and I'm going to end it by doing it. Talking angling on the radio and going fishing on the Staffordshire Worcestershire Canal, that is. Ian, I don't know whether you're following me or the other way around, but you've got your first fish there. Oh, this is the first fish from this swim, Stuart. It's my little perch on your favourite, double maggot. Nice one, well that's what I'm fishing on as well. Double maggot, what size hook? I've changed to a 16 now. Yeah. We're after the bigger ones. Size 14 for me. Yeah. So, nice I've just cast out, you have, and yeah. you've had one Almost immediately. Yeah, near enough. I'm fishing the far bank. You're fishing in the boat channel. channel. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what we can gather. It's a beautiful evening, isn't it? It is. Now the rain's gone. Yeah. We've had some rain today. We have indeed. Let's hope we can have some fish. Let's hope so. Got, got the hour on now, so we should be a bit better. Indeed. What's going on here then? Uh, another one now. Only a little one. I'm not sure I'm going to publish this video. <laughs> We'll see how it develops as to whether it hits YouTube or not. <laughs> there you go. Just a little. Most definitely, this video is not going public. Another one, that's three. You've got a shoal over there, they're all the same size, aren't they? It's the same one. <laughs> <laughs> He's been putting it on and casting out, trying to fool me uh, while I've been distracted. Anyway. Got some fancy ground bait there, Ian. I know, yeah. I've, I've sold it in the, in the local tackle shop. I don't know if it's any good, Stuart. Never used it before. Seems a bit uh, sticky. I don't know. Well, whatever you're putting out there is working so far. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. Just catch the bigger one. The ground bait's working. It's only a small one, it's though. It's a gudgeon, though. It's, it's attracted the gudgeon. Yeah. 4 nil. <laughs> I think it's definitely a case of quality over quantity for me this evening oh, i think so you've only got to get that one big one in the boat channel i'm four nil down <laughs> we've only good. been here about 20 minutes it's, i know how a team feels now when they play the new saints <laughs> four nil down after 20 minutes yeah, by the way ian 
I've booked a wrasse fishing holiday today. Oh, great. And Deb is very, very excited. Yes. I just haven't told her about the wrasse yet. <laughs> <laughs> She'll find out when we load the car. That's it, yeah. And she can't sit for fishing tackle. I think she always knows that you're going to take the fishing tackle on holiday, though, don't you? I think, actually, she would be very surprised, surprised if, I if you don't take it. It's been very quiet here, well, certainly as far as I'm concerned, I've had a couple of bites and one's come off. Looks like you've got a chub there. Looks like it, nice big mouth. Don't lose it, eh? Yeah. Oh, he's in the net. There you go. In the net, on the bank. And we'll have a look at that in a moment or two. Back of the net. Oh, chublet. Yeah, nice one, eh? Yeah, nice one. Best fish that we've had so far. Well, best fish that you've had. I haven't had anything. <laughs> I, did, I did have a, a hawk pull, though, just about a minute or so ago, so... Hopefully the fish have come on the feed. Yeah, spit the hook out the net. Let's have a look at that one. Let me hold it just to see what a fish looks like. <laughs> right. This is what a fish looks like. Caught on double caster. First time I've used it tonight. There you go. There you go. Put him back safely. Ian, let me interrupt you there. All right. Yeah. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> I'm not a blanker. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small roach, yeah. but I'll tell you what, I'm a few I'm a few behind you, but I think that one roach is worth one chub, one gudgeon and a, oh, yeah, and a few yeah, perch. Yeah. Do you? I think so. I think right. <laughs> I, I've yet to catch a roach, so yeah, I'll give you that one. Yeah, I think it takes more skill to catch a roach. Anybody anybody can catch <laughs> chub, gudgeon and perch, but roach, no. Yeah. Definitely more skillful. Yeah. I'll see if I can catch a bigger chub next time then. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, the light is uh, fading quickly, but you've caught your first roach there. First roach tonight, I've really I've triple maggot. I've gone for it tonight. I'll tell you what, you've <laughs> smashed me this evening, haven't you? That's it, yeah. In the back of the net. 